I want to move over 1 million buckets of milk across the ocean to my new beautiful Minecraft base. But I have to do it in only one trip. If I'm going to pull this off, I'm going to need to use as many item tricks as I can think of without dropping a single one into the ocean. And to make things even more difficult, I'm not allowing myself to pre-build any sort of railroad or redstone transportation system. So how can we do it? The first trick I thought of was using the new Minecraft bundles. Now, if you don't know what a bundle is, it's essentially a bag that holds 64 items. And you may be asking, what's the point of using a bundle if each slot already holds 64 items? Well, that's because bundles can hold a combination of items. Typically in Minecraft, you can only stack 64 items in one space. But with bundles, we can stack maybe 32 logs and 32 stone, or four of every color of wool, or in our case, 64 buckets of milk into a single inventory slot. But this is where we encounter our first problem. While bundles do exist in the current version of Minecraft, they're not craftable in survival mode, which means the only way we can really get bundles is to cheat them in with commands. But luckily for us, I already have a solution. I recently made a video where I added all of the missing and removed recipes back to Minecraft, so if we just add that data pack to this world, then voila, we can craft our bundles again. But here's where we encounter our next problem. When I went to fill my bundles with milk, I noticed something. It turns out that any unstackable item in Minecraft takes up an entire bundle on its own. So the image I showed you a minute ago was actually fake. But if I could find a way to exploit the game and make that real, we could multiply the number of items we can carry by 64. So I had an idea. This command will summon an armor stand that's holding a milk bucket. But here's the catch. We can modify that same command and change the count from one to 64. And while this armor stand looks the exact same, if we take its item, we now have 64 milk buckets stacked up in one spot. Although you gotta be careful with them because they're kind of buggy. So if we grab a new stack of 64 milk from our armor stand, we can put one of them in a bundle. Why does everything have to be so complicated? If we're not gonna be able to put milk buckets in a bundle ourselves, why don't we just force the game to do it for us? So now if we take the bundle out of this armor stand's hand, it should already have 64 in it. Awesome. I have so much milk in this one bag. But if we're gonna move 1 million buckets of milk in a single trip, we're gonna need more than just a few little bags. So I decided it was time to move on to step two shulker boxes. Shulker boxes are late game chests that can be automatically mass produced. The reason we want them for this challenge is because they can uniquely be placed inside of other chests. This allows us to increase our carrying capacity astronomically. A single shulker box contains 27 inventory slots. This means that if we fill up one with our milk bags, we're fitting 1,728 buckets of milk into a single inventory slot. That's a lot of milk. All right, so now that we're storing the maximum number of items possible in an inventory, slot, we need to figure out how to move as many inventory slots as possible with us. And reminder, we're not allowed to pre-build anything between the two bases, so we're really going to need to think here. So let's start with the obvious, ender chests. Ender chests are essentially magic portal chests that no matter which one you open, it'll always have the same stuff inside. And similar to a shulker box, an ender chest also has 27 inventory slots. This means that if we fill up our ender chest with shulker boxes, we can carry another 46,656 buckets of milk. And I know that sounds like a lot of items, but we still have a long way to go. So I started thinking, what is something most players completely forget about that can help you move mass quantities of items at a time? Llamas. Llamas not only have the ability to dress like my uncle, but you can also put little tiny chests on their backs. And the number of inventory slots at the chest correlates to the strength value of the llama. So if you were to breed all max strength llamas, each one could hold an extra 15 inventory slots for you. This means that for every llama we can bring, we get an additional 25,920 items. That's kind of insane. But that's not all. If you make a llama follow you with the lead, you can have up to nine additional llamas follow that llama in what the game calls a caravan. But here's the thing about caravans in Minecraft. Remember how I said if you lead a llama, nine more llamas can follow it? Well, what if you lead two llamas? What if you lead three llamas? Apparently, they never implemented a maximum number of llamas you can start a caravan with. But there's always another issue. And this time, it's the water. The thing is, while llamas are extremely strong at carrying items, they're not very strong swimmers. And if you have a full caravan, it is extremely extremely easy for some of them to get left behind. So I did some testing. I wanted to find the number of llamas I could bring to have the maximum number of items without losing a single llama. Because remember, this is one trip. If we lose a llama, that means we'd have to go back for it. And it turns out that number is four full caravans or 40 llamas, which is the total of 1,000,000 
36,800 items on their own. We haven't even counted our own inventory yet, which by the way, if you include the offhand, it's 63,936. But even though we already have this many items, I still have one more final idea to get a little bit extra. By the way, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more weird videos like this. So I started thinking back to the most recent Minecon where they hinted at wanting to add boats with chests in them in the upcoming Minecraft version 1.19. But of course, we're in Minecraft version 1.18, so chest boats won't be possible for at least another few years. Or will they? You see, boats and newer versions of Minecraft can hold two entities at a time. That means one seat for us and one seat for whatever else we can think of. And guess what I thought of? Llamas. So together with our own inventory, our llama buddy in the boat, our ender chest, and our four caravans of 40 llamas total, we are carrying a total of 1,173,312 buckets of milk across the ocean in a single trip. It's gonna take me like an entire hour to drink all this milk. And if you don't know it yet, we actually started a new hardcore 1.18 survival series over on my Twitch channel. There's a link below in the description if you wanna go follow that. But thank you for watching. Watching, don't forget to subscribe and I think you might like this video next.